Good morning. This is Elaine with Elaine's Custom Cards with a new video for you today. This is Pretty Pe or Royal Peacock stamp set. And then I use the dies that go with it to cut her out, or him. I think it's the male that has the pretty feathers. So it's the um, the bundle. You can get these two um, in the annual catalog. If you buy them as a set, you get 10% off. So this is what we used for this. And I got this idea from Wow Nala Creations. And she did a 6x6 six six card. And so I wanted it to fit on the standard A2 size card. So I trimmed it down and changed it up just a little bit. So these are the two um, stamps I used, or the, this and this. And then for the sentiments, I used um, the happy birthday well this happy birthday come from a different stamp set but I decided to use the happy birthday from this stamp set or you could use the happy birthday it looks almost the same it's just slightly different and then this one also has a happy anniversary um, stamp so here's the happy birthday and here's the happy anniversary I think on this card I'll use the happy anniversary on the one I'm making today and then on the inside, I used um, wishing you a lovely, wishing you a day of love and happy memories. So it can work with either anniversary, there's a happy wedding day on here, um, and then the happy birthday. So whatever is the occasion that you want to put on the front of this card. But that's the stamp set. And then to cut this out right here, sorry, I didn't tape this down. I used the stitched nested labels, and I used this one right here, which is the second to the smallest. There's the smallest. And then for the frame around here that you see, I used the heirloom frames dies, and I used the oval. And then I used the embossing folder that comes with it to emboss. And this is what um, Well Nala Creations used. And so I, I really like this idea. And so that's what I did. So let's get started on this card. So the first thing that I did was all my pieces. And for the peacock, I'll show you what I did. I used my Stamparatus and stuff there. I cut a piece of Whisper White that is, this is um, 4 and 7 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths. I put it on here. So. And I angled the peacock so it would fit across here. And then you have this little piece section over here you can use for the sentiment. And I stamped the peacock in blueberry bushel. And then I took the other um, piece that's in the set. It looks like this. And that's the extra feathers and whatnot. And I lined it up. And you line it up with, there's little dot, little... Um, you can see these little dots. You line them up on the peacock with these little feathers. And then the rest of it should just kind of go in place. And I stamped this with Versamark ink. And used gold embossing powder and embossed it with gold. And then this is what she looks. he looks like. Looks like this. Then I took my some Stampin' Blends and I used, and these are the colors that 
um, were used in the other video that I watched. So we used old dark old olive for the this part right here. And I kind of left a little white the little white speck above the eye. And then I colored the body with this. And I was real careful when I did this. Um, I took, use the other end. What I did was I took my, um, this is Rich Razzleberry Dark. And we colored this. part of it and then the comb on top in the rich razzleberry and I really like these colors I thought they went well together of course I cut this out I should tell you with this one this um, die and it's pretty easy to line up and then I took this rich razzleberry and kind of, I was trying to avoid the uh, coloring over the top of the gold. Because when I colored over the top of the gold, I didn't really like the way it looked because it wasn't shiny anymore, I didn't think. So I didn't want to color over the top of it. So I kind of just dabbed some of this color in here. In places like so on these little feathers because I didn't want color over the top of my gold because like I said it um, took away from the gold embossing and you can't really color it before you do the gold because then you can't really see um, where you want to put your um, stamp. So I just kind of dabbed in there. And then on these um, these feathers here, you can kind of do the same thing. Put a little bit of, try not to cover over the gold if, you know, you can avoid it. Just, just dab a little of this color in here. In the, I pretty much filled the um, those little eye thingies with the gold, so there's not much room to put any of this color in there. But and then I took my dark old olive again, and I colored around these. Um, there's some white that you can color around to get some of that um, dark old olive in there like so like I said you're not going to see much of that rich razzleberry in this one but that's okay because it's still going to look really pretty So after I did that, then I, see if I missed one here, and then I kind of went around this, put a little bit of the green in, in between here, because I wanted some green, there was too much white. And so I just kind of dabbed some green in, in here. I just added extra color in here. I thought it, you know, kind of looked good in there. And then after I did that, then I took my um, light.
white old olive. And I kind of brushed it just on these feathers because I was looking at a picture of a peacock on the internet and, and I have some peacock feathers and they are kind of gold, goldish green, the feathers. And so I wanted some green down here, but not dark green. I didn't want dark green, so I just kind of put some of this light old olive down here. It just kind of added something to it. And I avoided coloring over the top of the gold. Like I said, it kind of detracted from it. And I couldn't wipe it off of the gold. So I tried not to color over the top of it. This just added some more color and took away some of the white of that was showing through. Just like so. There. Okay. It's all colored. Now, let's put it together. Set the peacock aside and bring out our pieces. This is blueberry bushel, 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. This one, and you're going to want two of these, Whisper White, 5 and 1 fourth by 4. And it's going to go in the center of this, so let's go ahead and just put that on there. Now, if you want to do a 6x6 six six card, um, look up Wild Nala Creations, and she shows you how to do a the 6x6 six six card, and it's beautiful also. But you you got to make your own envelope if you don't have 6x6 six six envelopes, and so you'd need the envelope punch board, and I don't think Stampin' Up! sells that anymore. So, you do that, and then I'm going to center this piece, and this is the Noble Peacock DSP. It's very beautiful. It is five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. I'm going to glue that onto the front. Okay. And then this is the foil, and this is um, Pretty Peacock foil, and I believe this color is uh, uh, Pretty Peacock. Looks a little different than the Pretty Peacock, but I think that's what they are calling it. And it, it cuts out, the die cuts it out here. The die looks like this. And it cuts it out and leaves a center piece. And so what I did with the center piece is cut this little wispy feather from right here. And then I cut just this part of the peacock from this die. And this is on the um, old olive foil. And then two of these, which are these two right here. I cut two of those. Okay. Anyway, I cut this out and after you cut it, then you put it in your embossing folder like so and run it through your embossing machine. And this is a 3D which is a little thinner than the new than the older ones. So you'll have might have to use a shim. 
But anyway, I cut that out. And then I started to assemble. And I want my peacock like so. So what I'm going to do is make sure that it's in there. Well, let's do this part first. Get ahead of myself. What I want, like on this, and this is what she did, to get it so it shows up on both sides, you need to cut it. So you need to find the best spot to cut. So we're going to cut right here. And you just kind of cut up, because you're not going to see most of this anyway. It's going to be behind the peacock feathers. It's like so. Okay? And then you're going to arrange it on what looks good to you. And so I kind of like that much showing, maybe, like so. Or, let's see, it doesn't have to have a whole lot showing, just enough that you can see it, like so. Turn it over, and then tape it on there so it doesn't move. Oops, like so. Okay. And then you're going to tape the other side so it shows. I had a little bit of trouble with this. And you can trim, which I probably will. So then you want this to show on the other side. And tape it on there. Once you get that on there, then you're going to place this on your frame, like so. Turn this over. And tape it. Because you don't want it to move. like that. Okay. And I want an extra tape so it's not going to go anywhere. Just like that. Okay. Then we're going to use Stampin' Dimensional. Well, first I'm going to put a glue dot behind the head because I don't want the head moving up and down. So let's Put a glue dot behind the head, like that. You can put a dab of glue, but I found glue dots seem to stick better on this foil. And then I want one under here, so those don't move. stuck on there pretty good so okay then we're going to use Stampin' Dimensionals and you want to make sure you put plenty on here 
because this is a pretty big piece. Make sure you put some behind the bird. Because you don't want the bird sagging either. And I put quite a few behind the frame because it's a puffy frame and you want it to make sure that it sticks up. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay. We're going to put this on. This card takes a little bit of time to make. Um, but I think it's beautiful and I love getting the ideas off of YouTube. Yeah, sometimes you're sitting there, you're going, I, I need one more right here. No, that's fine. Okay. Then I kind of centered this up. Like so, so it's not hanging over. Put that on. And then we take our sentiment, and I'm using the happy anniversary. And I'm going to put one of those there. And then I'll take at least one of these. I only used one on this card. I'm going to cut the stem off because I don't need it. And then it, this one's going to go here. I'll just put a little piece of tape on there to hold it in place so it doesn't move. And then if you want, you can put one down here, but I actually didn't think that it needed it, so I didn't put one. But I do think it needs a glue dot. I'm going to put a glue dot here to hold that down. And then I want one here so it'll stick to the frame and not flop around. take the cover off of that or it's not going to stick very well. There's that. And now the inside, I've got it stamped with blueberry bushel. And this um, cardstock is a four or five and one fourth by four. And I took this um, punch and Punch the corners. And this punch is in the annual catalog. And then I glued this to the inside of the card. And I put glue here and dot oops it's too big of a dot glue here dot there dot there dot there here here and like this I don't want it lifting and then centered that just like so now she used this um, feather on the envelope, but I was afraid it would get messed up in the mail. So I just glued it to the inside of the card, like that. And then I took the rhinestones. And these are the pretty peacock rhinestones. And I used three on the bottom, and that's what she did. One there, 
this is a good time to sign up as to get discounts on your orders for $99 you can choose a hundred and fifty five dollars worth of product free shipping and then you get 20% off all your orders after that plus when you do that this month Nick you'll get a ten dollar um, coupon to spend on your next order or one of your orders next month so you're basically getting hundred and sixty five dollars worth of product you can email me Elaine's custom cards at gmail.com you can order from me on Elaine Dotson dot net dot net or you can sign up as a demonstrator if you have any questions please let me know thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day